Adam, it's John. I uh, just calling to see if you had time to line up the details on our next video we were doing. I don't know who you are. Yes, you do. I just told you. I don't know what you want. If you're looking for ransom, I can tell you I don't have money because I'm on YouTube. Oh, are we doing a Taken bit? This is a Taken bit. But what I do have is a very particular episode idea, a movie feud I've acquired over a very long career. It will make a nightmare for people like you. By the way, um, congrats on the new set. Uh, do you own that yourself, or are you leasing it from Talk Soup? If you do this episode with me, that'll be the end of it. I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. If you don't, I will look for you. I will find you, and I will feud with you. Again. John. Good luck. <laughs>
and commuting to their crappy office jobs. Everything involving their mysterious agency is overcomplicated and uninteresting. Hardly exciting spy stuff. As ridiculous as the Bourne films get at times, I can believe in them thanks to Matt Damon's physicality and the well-shot action. We see him jump through windows, scale the sides of buildings, pummel multiple dudes at once, dirt bike through small villages, etc. And I'm in with him all the way. As cool as Liam Neeson is, I don't buy his skills anymore. There's a part in Taken 2 where a few guys are chasing him by doing parkour along the alleyways. Meanwhile, here's Liam Neeson having a nice bit of a jog. I fear he's turning into Steven Seagal. This is not a game. You might think you have the advantage here, Adam, but not so fast. The born redundancy has some of the sloppiest shaky cam action in cinema. Oh, the plot intensified? Better start jerking the camera around like a 13-year-old and just learn how to masturbate for the first time. Paul Greengrass is normally a very competent director, but his kinetic handheld style is annoying at best and headache-inducing at worst. Later, Jason, I can't remember my own last name, born, plays bumper cars with a Russian taxi through the streets of Moscow. Seriously, that car was built like a tank. But my biggest gripe is that Damon never kills any of the main antagonists. Not one of them. How unsatisfying is that? Right, unlike Liam Neeson's character who just mows down waves of innocent bystanders, that's what I want from my Taken franchise. Needless casualties. No one in that series has anything remotely interesting about them, and you want to criticize the Bournes director? Did you watch Taken 2 and 3? Olivier Megaton? Megaton? Yeah, that's his f***ing name. That's the name he's assigned himself. Transformers, directors in disguise. Good, right. Let's talk about how Megaton... I can't even say his name without laughing. Let's talk about how Megaton filmed the action in these films. It looks like he strapped a GoPro to about 30 different birds and just let them loose everywhere. <laughs> this is action, I'm filming it. It's terrible. But let's get back to something that works, and that's the fights in the Bourne franchise. Jason can easily take out two or three routine cops in a matter of seconds, but the real thrill is seeing him go up against an equally skilled adversary. He turns simple household items into deadly weapons, and those car chases are as thrilling today as they were a decade ago. I'm just glad D-Box chairs weren't readily available when Bourne hit theaters. Everyone would be on the floor in a puddle of their own vomit three minutes in. Because of the shaking? Because of the shaking. Moby's Extreme Ways may be an incredibly dated song today, but it works as a fantastic cap to each installment. But Nathaniel McCauley is no slouch either, providing a loud, intense score that amps the tension during the blistering final act of each Taken film. Blistering final act? Jesus Christ. Just because you use extreme adjectives to describe something does not make them such. By the time the third film was winding down, I was more Taken with my watch. I had to do a Taken pun at some point. John Powell gives us a lot of great material beyond just Moby, and they match the setting perfectly. From Moscow to India, there is always a great score to keep you engaged. I remember everything. Before 2008, Liam Neeson wasn't an action star. But ever since Maggie Grace got took, he's been in about a dozen such films. And it's all because of his re-breakout performance as Brian Mills. Taken is to Neeson as Airplane was to Nielsen. They're fast, fun, satisfying pulp with awesome gunplay and badass takedowns. And while the sequels weren't as good, they provided more of the same, and certainly weren't awful. The entire trilogy is a perfectly paced thrill ride. First off, Johnny Boy, the retaken in and Take 3 were awful. Secondly, the Taken franchise is a me too born. It, it looks up to Bourne, it wants to be it, but it's nowhere close. I also want to say, they're making a true fourth film. Damon's coming back, and I'm excited. Fifth, there will be five Bourne films. You're so embarrassed by Legacy, you won't even acknowledge it exists. At least Taken didn't switch horses midstream for a younger, less talented lead. Just plug your show. I've been on Feud Nation twice before, so I trust your audience is familiar with my review show, Movie Night. But what they might not know is that for the next four weeks, I'm exclusively discussing action heroes. It's all part of the second annual Action Movie Month. Visit youtube.com slash jogwheel to check it out, leave a comment or two, and maybe even subscribe. As always, Adam, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for having me on. The pleasure's all yours, John, I can assure you that. What I'm more interested in what you, the viewer, has to say. I've lost the last two feuds with Paula, so a win here would be a refreshing change of pace and certainly a step in the right direction for 2015. Post a comment, head to feudnation.com to vote for your winner, and check me out on Facebook and Twitter to stay up with the show. If you really like what I'm doing, head on over to patreon.com slash feudnation and throw me a buck or two. Any little bit would make a huge difference. It would really help me continue to keep this show moving. And until next time, this is more than just reviews, this is Movie Feuds. Hey, nice looking set here, Tosh.0. 
When does Red Redemption start? Get the hell out of here, Paula!